I just started earning over 140% on my crypto portfolio through yield farming, or more specifically, providing liquidity on Uniswap. Let me share with you a walkthrough tutorial of how I do it through partner of the channel Yieldflow, because unlike many centralized solutions, which have no transparency, meaning they hold your money, they control your money, you take on counterparty risk. Yieldflow is non-custodial. Grow your portfolio with Yieldflow, a decentralized, secure, and anonymous platform. So think of them just like an interface to use the DeFi or a router to connect to the liquidity pools, to plug in to the altcoin staking on chain. Because DeFi today can be complicated to use, and that's what Yieldflow is aiming to solve. Yieldflow routes the customer assets via smart contracts to the different protocols, eliminating the complexity and ensuring a sustainable and positive journey in the passive earning space. And in general, as written up on Cointelegraph, the all-in-one solution investors need. Yieldflow says its goal is to combine true decentralization with a simple and easy-to-use interface. The entire platform runs on smart contracts publicly listed and audited by Certic, meaning anybody can check and scrutinize them. The project also does not collect personal data either, so there's no KYC, as they offer a crypto only experience. Meaning you can't wire in money from your bank account, but you can only use stable coins or crypto. And before we get to the walkthrough, the three main services they provide are lending, securely lend your assets to others and earn interest, staking, validate transactions, enhance the network and get rewarded, and liquidity pools, help others trade by providing liquidity and earning fees. And any on-chain staking protocol they tap into or liquidity pool protocol they tap into, not only is their code audited by Certic, which I like, but also any smart contract, yield generating smart contract that yield flow taps into is listed publicly for all to see. And again, you can stake your altcoin on your own. Often the UI UX just sucks or provide a liquidity on any of these pairs on your own, it's often just super complicated. But if you just want a plug and play, easy to use interface, Yieldflow is aiming to be that solution. So right now they have over 20 plus different crypto assets available, over 10,000 active users. And of course, how do they make money? Well, it's right in their white paper. We can scroll down to fee structure and it's all there, all transparent. Just know there is a performance fee upon cash out that is calculated based on your earnings. So it's 100% performance related. So only when you earn, do they earn. And last is the management fee, which is based on your deposits annually. And of course, all this can be offset by the amount of their token that you stake. This is also a governance token, I believe. But all two fee components do depend on the token and staking. And the more you stake, the less you pay this way we can reward investors who stay with the project. So again, I appreciate that transparency. We'll check in on my results at the end. I have been using this for about two months. But the last thing that should be noted are the risks. Because as you know, the safest thing you can always do in crypto is buy and hold in cold storage. There is a degree or two more risk when you engage in anything outside of cold storage. Now again, this has been audited, which I like. Any contract they engage with has also been audited and they list that out very publicly. So again, I like. And if you're going to stake anyway or use DeFi anyway to get that sweet, sweet yield, might as well do it in a decentralized way versus the centralized, which we've seen before. So make your own decisions, do your own research, do what's best for you. And by the way, link down below if you wanna check this out. Let's do the walkthrough. As you can see, we're already at staking, they offer Polygon, Phantom, Aave, Sandbox staking at the moment. Join the fully transparent node pools to earn staking yield of up to 16.1% in real time without the complexity of running the node yourself. They also have a lending feature. And again, we can see right here, it's all through DeFi. So if you wanna lend your USDT on the Aave protocol, you have that option. And then of course, what I've been using, liquidity pool version three. Again, I was willing to take on this risk, try it out for myself, you do what's best for you. But just know the, the interest you could earn, this is an annualized percentage yield based on the trading fees from the last seven days. If it's a volatile market, this will be a lot more. If the market's super still, not a lot of trading, this will be less. I'm starting out with $10,000, as you can see here. 
We'll deposit it in the ETH USDT pool and we'll go about two months and see my results. So let's start on the main page, go directly to the app. Here we are. Now we have to connect our wallet, a DeFi wallet. And just know I'm doing this on the Arbitrum chain. This is an ETH scaler, just because I don't want those heavy fees that comes on ETH. Might as well do it on ARB. Again, use the chain that you want to use, but they do offer an Arbitrum bridge as well, just because they don't want you to get hit with those fees either. Also, I am recording this on a different day. So as you can see, the APR is already a little different. But first step after we connect the wallet is to approve the USDT. Oh, and I do realize I do need some ETH for gas. Let me get there real quick. And yes, now you can see we're actually starting off with 10,000 and then just under 0.2 ETH. And also good to note that we do have to get as close as we can to the ratio between ETH and USDT. So if I have $10,000 total and in the pool right now, Ethereum is 62% of that pool, we need around 6,200 ETH. Boom, there it was, there it is. All right, ratio is good. So now we approve that USDT. Now that it's approved through the wallet, let's add the liquidity. As you can see, it lays out all the stats you'd wanna know. And let's put in the max and approve. All right, we're now doing it. Now you can remove the liquidity anytime you want. There are no lockups. You have full control to withdraw whenever. And also every 12 hours, you can claim your fees and choose to redeposit them for compounding interest or just bank them in your wallet. Boom. Okay, it's about nine days later. This is our results after nine days. I'm claiming my fees thus far. And if I was smart, I would have claimed them every 12 hours and then redeposited them uh, for compounding interest, but I forgot. So this is just nine days later, claiming fees for the first time. So we're claiming 0.3 ETH as well as $630 USDT. Okay, we've claimed them. Let's check the wallet. And 0.4 ETH in $611 USDT because there once was some excess there because I didn't deposit. I, because of the ratio, it was hard to deposit everything at once. We got the fees is the point. And I'm going to choose to redeposit, add liquidity, do the gas fee. And as you can see, we're waiting on the blockchain and boom, there it is. That was nine days. Let's check back in at another couple weeks around the two month ish mark. All right, final check in. It's been about nine to 10 ish weeks. I have been claiming fees and then re putting them back in as much as possible. I honestly, I could have done it a whole lot more. Maybe you can do that if you choose. Um, but I did it some. And I just want to point out that I do now have this lonely 640 USDT that right now I, the ETH doesn't quite match up because this ratio is always changing. So just something to note in the total. But if we check in on the stats for the portfolio, right now total assets are $10,522 plus that $600 still in the wallet. So not too shabby after nine to 10 weeks. And some of you are saying, Austin, I thought it was supposed to be 140% or 70% or 90%. And yes, it is always fluctuating. This uh, takes the trading fees over the last seven days. But also just understand that's annual. That's, so that would be a whole year. Give me your honest thoughts on this down below. What do you like? What do you still have questions on? And link down below for you to check out on your own.